Okay, this is a video of some of the Drake parts that I have in no particular order. Um, you see I got a bunch, I laid them out here on, uh, on this, I'm going to put them back in bubble wrap and put them away. But uh, we'll start at this end of the table. I have uh, two of the intake sets, uh, one with air horns, this is for the ITB old mechanical fuel injection stuff. These are pretty awesome parts. Uh, pretty deep. This one has the th butterflies in it. I don't know if you can see that. No, they're down in there. You can. There we go. You can kind of see it there. This one has the butterflies in it. Uh, this is another set. You can see the butterflies aren't in it, but it has the, the throttle. You can kind of see the difference. Um, these are pretty nice parts. Uh, these are much cooler than any motorcycle ITB you're going to have. Uh, let's see, this is the cylinder head, which I took apart, and here are the pieces. Here's the ARP uh, unused head bolts. Um, there's the valve train you can see. Uh, notice I vacuum sealed everything. There's the titanium retainer, spring retainers. Here's the valves that came out of that. These are the Drake ones, heavy duty big guys. Um, these are... Uh, heavy duty springs, uh, brand new as well. Um, the head when I got it was somewhat incomplete, had all the valves, so there's a couple of leftover uh, Drake pieces in there. So I separated those out. These are the springs. Um, wasn't sure what the rates were and they weren't all there, so I bought a brand new set over here. These are like Tectonics, I believe. Have the receipts for them somewhere. We'll get back to the cam in a sec. This is another Drake part, obviously not Volkswagen, but uh, they did a bunch of stuff with boats and things, so kind of a cool part. I'm a horrible pack rat and collector. Here's the Drake cam, which thing is gigantic. You can see the scratching, well, you can't really see it, but you know, in the end, but if you look at the lobes, these, this is a, clearly a carb cam. Uh, fuel injection would not even start on a cam like this. You can see here's the Drake adjustable cam gear and here's a second Drake adjustable cam gear I had three of them for a while I don't really know why but I sold one I was gonna sell this one but uh, you know how that goes um, here's the head uh, it goes on a, it's not a GTI head it's a 1.6 1.7 head um, then we have the dry sump setup so this is a Drake dry sump uh, you can see Drake engineering in there this obviously baffled some scraper, um, quite, the, quite the little piece. That guy goes into this, here's your scavenges. These guys go on this, and you can see this in the Drake catalog. Has all the heavy duty machined parts and stuff. Um, this is quite the unit. Um, and that's set up to work with something like this, an oil reservoir, which is cool. Here's the attachment that goes on the block to match with that, and I got all these parts with it um, to run it. I think this guy goes, uh, you know, is keyed on the end there. Um, this guy's all machined and drilled out, and here's all the hardware that goes with that puppy. I'm not exactly sure what all that is. I never tried to install this thing. Um, I got it as is. I've never run it, obviously, so I don't know what its deal is, but uh, pretty, pretty damn rare piece. Um, and uh, even if you never ran any of this stuff, because I guess it's a little bit overkill to run dry sump on a on a rabbit unless you're really dragging it, um, look awful good on the wall. It's kind of a horrible waste of parts this cool, but you know, kind of is what it is. So here's a little video of a few more things, and um, I'm gonna wrap all this stuff back up and put it back in the box. There you go.